Hi, it's Miss Leibowitz. So um, we're actually going to be starting our new topic, which is topic 14. So for, topic 14 is continuing measurement, but it's actually adding and subtracting length. So different measurements, adding and subtracting them. The first part is 14-1, where they talk about length around an object. So it's finding how long around an object or a shape there is. So remember, that is perimeter. We talked about perimeter in our Zoom class for a few minutes. The perimeter of a shape is the the distance around a shape. So we're gonna play some of our uh, Envision videos and we will continue. How do you know when to add or subtract when solving problems involving measurements? Think about this question during the lesson. The book is nine inches long and six inches wide. What is the distance around the front cover of the book? The cover of the book is a rectangle. What does distance around mean? So remember, it's saying the distance around. So it's saying how, if I were to take a piece of string and I was gonna go around this whole cover, how long would that be? Remember, distance around means perimeter, the perimeter. I always like to think of a fence. If I were going to put a fence around this shape, how long of a fence would I need? So look at this, this is a rectangle. I know when I have a rectangle that I have two short sides and two long sides. So if I have two short sides and two long sides, they already gave that to me. So if I'm doing the distance around, that means it's this side and this side and this side and this side, the perimeter. Distance around means the combined length of all four sides of the book. Why have only two sides of the book been measured? The other two sides of the rectangle are the same length as the two that have been measured. How can you find the distance around the cover? Select your answer. So if I want to find the distance around the cover, that means I need to do all four sides, not just the two sides that they gave me. I can't just say six plus nine because that would only be part of the, of the length around the cover. I have to add all of the sides up. So if I'm thinking about that, I have six and nine. If this is a rectangle, that means that the short sides are the same and the long sides are the same. So that means that this side right here that you don't see a number on the bottom, that would also be six inches because it is the same length as the one on top because it's a rectangle. Now this long side on the, uh, this long side on the left side would be the same as the nine inches because it's a rectangle and the two long sides are the same. So that means I'm going to be adding the six, the nine, another six, and another nine. Not just the two, nine plus six, because that's only gonna give me part of the length around, not the whole length around. So it would be nine plus six plus nine plus six all four sides. You can add the lengths of all four sides to find the distance around the cover. Find nine plus six plus nine plus six. The distance around the cover is 30 inches. To show that the answer is a measurement, write the units you are measuring in. Now, look at these measurements. How much longer is the teacher's arm than the child's arm? Will you add or subtract to solve this problem? Select your answer. 
now we're talking about, we were just talking about adding for to find the length around something. Now they're giving us a word problem and we have to decide, are we going to add these lengths or are we going to subtract them? So you need to think of your math action words. How much longer is the teacher's arm than the child's arm? How much longer? How much longer? How much skinnier? How much shorter? How much fatter? How much smarter? How much smellier? Whenever you compare, you must subtract. We are comparing the teacher's arm to the child's arm. So we need to subtract those lengths. Remember how much longer we are comparing the two, the teacher and the child. So we need to subtract these lengths. Subtract to compare measurements. Find 66 minus 47. Break 47 into 40, 6, and 1. Then subtract each part. The teacher's arm is 19 centimeters longer than the child's arm. What other question could you answer by comparing the length of these arms? You could find how much shorter the child's arm is than the teacher's arm. Now you know how to add and subtract when solving problems involving measurements. Remember how much longer, how much shorter, how much smellier, how much fatter. Whenever you compare, you must subtract. If they're giving you two items and saying how much more, how much less, then you need to subtract. Let's watch our other Envision video for the same topic to find distance around an object and word problems to figure out when to add or subtract. I'm making a present for my mom. It's a picture of me. But I want to decorate the edges with ribbon. How much ribbon do I need? I know. I can add the distance around the picture. Okay, I measured it. The short side is five inches long, and the long side is seven inches long. I know the lengths of the opposite sides on a rectangle, so I just have to add the lengths of the four sides. So five plus seven is 12. 12 plus five more is 17. 17 and seven more is 24. That's 24 inches around the picture. I need 24 inches of ribbon. And here's another question. How much longer is the long side than the short side? Ooh, this problem is asking me to compare. So I simply subtract the two numbers. Seven minus five equals two. The long side is two inches longer than the short side. You can really solve a lot of problems by adding and subtracting measurements. You heard in the video that it says you're comparing the two sides. How much longer is the long side than the short side? How much longer? You're comparing the two sides. So whenever you're comparing in math, you need to subtract. All right, guys. So make sure um, that you are watching this video. Maybe watch it again to, so that you know what to do. And make sure that you're thinking about the shapes that you're seeing on your assignment because it might be missing some of the different measurements on the side, but if it's a rectangle, the long side is the same as the long side and the short side is the same as the short side. And if it's a square, all sides have to be the same. That's what makes it a square. If all the sides aren't the same, then it's not a square. All right, guys, talk to you later.